that site, mad site in it. Test, test, test. Is that picking up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So sh short turns to me are one of the more exciting turns because there's a lot happening. I, I think they're really difficult to do, but they're exciting uh, when you get it right and they're really exciting to watch as well. Um, I think it's uh, finding the balance of three objectives that determine whether it goes well or not. The three objectives are uh, the rhythm, having a shorter or longer rhythm, uh, the amount of deflection, so more deflection or less, and then the speed you take down the hill. Um, the difficulty is, is that those three objectives don't line up, so obviously the faster you go down the hill the more difficult it is to deflect. Um, the more deflection there is then the longer the rhythm will be, so it's always a bit of a trade-off and I think um, to ski the terrain, uh, blending those three to get the best outcome is the best type of short turn in my opinion. So the focus of my short turns have changed a little bit over the last couple of years. Um, prior to that I was trying to pure carve my short turns everywhere, that's the race carving or slicing the snow without any um, deviation off the rail or the edge of the ski. And more recently I've been trying to get or work on more energy across the hill or deflection. Um, and I've also realised that pure carving or race carving short turns doesn't work on every terrain. So I've been focusing on a, like a mixed performance turn. So that means I'm still changing edges and trying to go from one edge to the other before the ski turns or twists down the hill. But I now have a, an option as to whether I continue to slice and pure carve race carve into the turn or whether I pull my foot forward through the arc and then lock the ski on the edges or slice or race carve later in the turn. Um, I believe that to really maximise the energy across the hill at some point in the turn the skis have to slice or, or race carve. So now just timing or determining where the most efficient part in the turn to get that uh, is something that I'm working on and will change whether it's steep or flatter or if I'm off-piste or on the ground. The movements should stay very similar but the objective might change. So if I am skiing on soft snow in Japan then I know that it doesn't have the energy in the snow to provide very much deflection. So that means to be exciting I have to have a faster rhythm and I might take less deflection down the hill at a faster speed. If it's steeper or firmer or icy, then that snow facilitates a lot of acceleration across the hill in a short turn. So my deflection will be higher or bigger and the other two will maybe be slower in speed and the rhythm will change as well. So really finding the objective to suit or work the best on the terrain. When I'm trying to perform short turns, I'll start from the top of the turn. Um, the most or the biggest focus for me is to change edges without any direction change of the ski. So going from the uphill edges straight onto the downhill edges and a lower position or flex in the joints will facilitate that movement coming from the lower leg. Once the ski is on the edge I'm going to continue to increase the edge angle as my legs extend away from me so that my hip and centre of mass is further to the inside with a longer leg to then deal with or brace against the energy that pushes back. I'm then trying to time my release of the turn so that the energy pushes me across the hill. That's where the energy comes in or the acceleration. But also time the relaxing, the relaxing of my outside leg with that energy so that I can then cross into the new turn and maintain a fast rhythm. So the exercises that I want to work on will work on some parts of that turn. I really hope you got something out of these objectives and cues. This clip was taken from Legacy Part 1 by Projected Productions. If you'd like to see the full video with a really detailed explanation of exactly how to perform these movements, along with exercises and drills to improve your skiing, then head to projectedproductions.com and subscribe to the All Access Video Pass. For just $9.99 Australian per month, you gain access to not just Legacy 1, but our entire video library, including Legacy 2, the Zillatal Project, the Hintertooks Project, project kits and then also all of the 10 episodes that we've got out. It's fine to subscribe for one month and cancel at the end. The cancellation process is simple and immediate. That will mean that you've paid $9.99 Australian to access hours of video. I really encourage you to get to the website. I put it in the description and I hope to see you out skiing. Thanks.